media personality, Miss Kitty, comes to our stage, a full-blown attorney at law. But will she ever practice law? Miss Kitty, right here, right now, on our stage. Miss Kitty. Hello, Winford. Oh. <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, yes. It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been yes. a while. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. Happy New Year. Same to you, you my and dear. your viewers, I wish for everybody a magnificent, a prosperous, healthy, wealthy, abundance-filled 2021. Last year was tumultuous, so. And I'm know. throwing all of that back at you. Thank you. And I'm include clean. and add to it immunity. Thank you, darling. I, from COVID. Yeah, amen. <laughs> Good God of Daniel. <laughs> all right. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. Whole heap of it. Thank you. A whole basket of it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, so what was it like balancing um, studying for law, mm. for a law degree, and being such a pumped up mm -hmm. celebrity stroke <laughs> personality in media? Um, but in all seriousness, Winford, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very rigorous uh, program. It was very difficult. Um, it took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Um, it was a lot of sacrifice, a lot of discipline, a lot of commitment, a lot of feeling like, my God, why have I taken on this thing to myself? Why am I never want to sell some taste and buy rat pies in Long Town <laughs> or sell some camper ball? Why have I taken on this yeah. uh, mantle? But at the end of the day, for me, self-actualization is very important. I remember uh, my, when I was last here, I told you that I was going to do law. Oh, I yeah. told you that I was going to be an attorney at law and it has come to pass. So I wanted to Ever since I was growing up, I've always wanted to be a lawyer and a politician. You know, those mm -hmm. are my two. You know, yeah. what you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a teacher. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a doctor. So I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And so though, um, you know, I have accomplished a lot in the entertainment realm, I wasn't going to just limit myself to that. And for me, I believe that especially as women, we have to give ourselves options because you never know when a door can close. And if a door closes, you need to make sure you have a window. So you have a plan A, B, and C always catch so that you can maintain your dignity and your womanhood. Okay, so what's the takeaway? The takeaway for me is that First of all, you have to have God in the vessel, right? Mm -hmm. Who God bless, no man curse. You can't do it by yourself or whoever your higher being is or whomever your you know, omnipotent, omnipotent person is. But for me, God first, right? Mm -hmm. And when him give you the favor and you have God's grace, no matter what he, she, or the old lady say about you, you are not who they say you are. Mm -hmm. You are who God says you are. The big takeaway for me is don't live by people's limitations and don't allow people to define you. Mm -hmm. You have the power to write your own narrative. Now, make nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. If you want to do something, is it going to be rough? Yes. Jimmy Riley did tell me, it's going to be rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hear me. Hear me. It's going to get tough. Yeah. But then guess what? You have to rise to the occasion. You have to exhibit the resilience and the tenacity. You're going to feel left out. You're going to feel left behind. Sometimes your friend, they're going to want to call you, invite you to a party. You're going to have to turn it down. You're going to have to see a lot of things and want it and turn it down. Mm -hmm. Winford, I had a full-fledged job yes. or, or jobs yes. whilst going to school. Law is no joke, okay? It is a very serious program. Uh, they say that law, the law is a jealous mistress, right? And so you have to give it your all. You have to be focused on the goal. So I remember, uh, you know, getting so many opportunities to go overseas, to do different things, participate in different things. And me that crying, I said, boy, Lord have mercy. Why as we start school, them opportunities, they have come. Why they never come before? But then I said, you know what is true? Um, fame is vapor, and mm -hmm. what fear can be unfair. I'm going to take this opportunity, focus on this goal. I want to achieve it. I want to self-actualize. And guess what? If when I finish, they want to call me back. They call me back. I've given up many opportunities. But was it worth it in the end? Yes, it is worth it. So anybody who wants to achieve anything, just go forth and do it. When I started law school, I get up the morning, Put on my nice clean clothes, beard, lotion, deodorant, and spray my body spray. I'm a Chanel. I'm a, uh. And I went up there and I said, I'm ready. And they gave me a tour. And I said, okay, register me, please. When we register Winford, let me drive. You hear me? 
I want me just do. <laughs> I want this me just sign up for. <laughs> so Omega Manage Radio, TV, stage shows, plus homework. Listen, Winford, for the first week, I cried like a baby. When I thought about, first of all, the book, them big saw, the case, them enough saw, then my eye all start, does our glasses, me start to wear. You my father got you see all them Look, but weren't you paying your way too? Of course, when for? What are you you saying? had to pay, right? You paid your way. Hello, you got to pay or you cannot stay. I paid my fees. And anybody who knows anything about the law program, uh, we pay in USD, right? And it's not um, a walk in the park either, right? So we're looking at upwards of 10,000 US. And that's just for the fees. We're not talking about the books, gas, lunch money. So I have a ban my belly and also just focus. Whilst there, I also realized that there were some persons in my study group, two in particular, well, three. And when we're talking about exams and we're studying, I noticed that they weren't talking about, you know, getting their exam cards. And as you know, if your fees are not paid, then you cannot sit the exams. And what I did, I teamed up with the CB UA5K and I hosted it. And I said, okay, you know what? I'm giving a scholarship to these students because at the end of the day, they're the first in their family to go to university, the first in their family to do law. And I want them to feel good as well. Me no one male want to cross the threshold and across the Rubicon. So I gave three scholarships while I was there as as well to help others actualize their dreams so them family can be proud of them them community can be proud of them and they can be proud of themselves so you have to pay money win for dinner free mm -hmm. and a man never give it to me I don't yes know. And, and you know we, <laughs> it must be clear to those listening that you had to pay Scale your no way drugs, did no scamming did yes. no prostitution not like you have a rich uncle not at, somebody all. Pay. Father, not at all all right so so why law why was it why did you choose law for your for higher learning well, I've always been an advocate. And even in the media, you yourself, Winford, you are an advocate. You bring a lot of stories to us. You know, I saw your Yvonne uh, Sterling mm -hmm. uh, video, you know, her, her interview and all of that. That's you advocating. When you bring people to the stage, that's a form of advocacy. So for me, um, I'm always representing for the disenfranchised or the voiceless, as well as law, it, you know, opens your mind to the contingencies and the vicissitudes of life. Mm -hmm. And you know, of a deal with people and you learn the intricacies of certain things and as I said really and truly it was always a passion of mine and a dream of mine and for me you have one life to live and so it was important to do that as well as win for top truth to God love speak the truth and shame the devil Remember say when you want to live certain type of life remember say nice things nice and nice <laughs> things fit me I'm gonna need it I'm gonna want it I'm gonna beg for it mm -hmm. so therefore I need to also choose a profession um, that you can live at a certain level okay once you apply yourself once you're willing to put in the work once you're willing to do the right thing and of course if they don't want him on the radio they don't want some pump tv i'm gonna kneel up two shingle and hello i'm working hadina toya hilton attorney at law oh so you you, <laughs> you plan to practice oh, it, yeah, me, what, so bag of money for the students, sir. <laughs> unless they come at the u.n like if they get a look at work mm. at the united nations or if like you know the president call me or sir kamala call me and look at work like that i'm willing to go but i mean you have to do what you have to do in Ford. And as I said, you know, to have your own autonomy and to have your own dignity and integrity, those things mean a lot to me. And I also, I'm not perfect. So let me just get that, put that out there. Far from it. But I want, if any time a little girl or young man says to their mother or father, you know, I admire Miss Kitty. All my fans who support me, I absolutely love them. And I want to take this opportunity to just say thanks to everyone that prayed for me. Thanks to everyone who would have wished me well, prayed for me, um, had a kind word to say. Because sometimes it gets very lonely when you're on a certain path. I'm a woman of standard and principle. I'm gonna drop my catch, you know? And so for my fans, it means a lot to me to give them somebody in whom they can be proud or of whom they can be proud. You know, my mom, Lady Marge, you know, I absolutely love my mother. My mother, my dad, you know, mm -hmm. and the, the template of a strong, educated, intelligent woman. And then you see too, how when you have these attributes, how they can help you, the hands that rock the cradle rule the world. You have to be independent. You have to be a go-getter. You have to be a goal-getter. And you can't make nobody stand in the way of that. So it takes a lot. Winford, many days and many nights, I drive by myself in my vehicle, 
crying to school because at the end of the day, I have school. I had school. Well, when I was at Norman Manley Law School, mm -hmm. school is from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. My radio show is from 3 to 5. After that, I have to go to the library. We have assignments. You have court visits. You have legal aid. You have, um, you know, interactions with your with your. Yeah, mock trial. You have to have your study group. And I want to shout out my study group. Uh, you know, they are absolutely amazing. And I just want to big them up because, again, the journey is not one that you do by yourself, but it is a collective effort. You know, um, being called to the bar was, it felt so surreal to me. You see, I'm a company, I should not cry off my eyelash, mm -hmm. but that's for another time, you. Um, but it was just very gratifying for me because to see all the hard work, the sacrifice, the dedication, you know, come to this, mm -hmm. you know, a culmination full circle. It was really great. And I want to take the opportunity to say thanks to Mr. Ian Wilkinson QC, Queen's Council, uh, who called me to the bar. Really an honor. And I'm very thankful to him. It was a wonderful day. And but it's their ball so because when you think about it, Winford, people will sit at home or sit in their corner and say a lot of derogatory things and say a lot of uh, you know they will berate you, put you down, bring you down. And a lot of people will judge you and do so incorrectly. However, at the end of the day, you have to be true to yourself. As Polonia said in Hamlet, to thine own self be true. But my thing is, you know, the court of public opinion is always there. But thanks be to God, their decisions are never binding. So you just do your thing. If you love me, I love you too. If you don't like me, I'll be, I'll be never like you first. I think more love you. <laughs> And they're yeah, living their you. lives. And I love them. <laughs> and they're living through you. Wow. Thank you. Vicariously. Mm -hmm. the, those who didn't make it mm -hmm. to university. Yeah, and you can still make it. You don't have to go to university to make it. Yeah. And if you want to go to university, even there was a gentleman in my class, Winford. He was 60 years old. Okay? So when you think, oh, I'm too old. Or, oh, Lord, I have three kids and I can't bother. And, Lord, oh, I'm going to look in a school with great ear. It doesn't matter. Everybody takes their time. Everybody's life is different. Some people, Winford, you have to send your children to school first. Get them off and make them make mm -hmm. it. Set a foundation for them. Then you can do your thing. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Wow. Kamala Harris. Yay. First woman yes. vice president yes. of the United States. Woman of color. Woman of color. Mm -hmm. Jamaican. Yes. What does she do for you? It just seems so surreal. When I look at her, what she stands for, she has also at the bar, at the bench. And, you know, I tend to, uh, Michelle Obama, my general too, you know, another mm -hmm. female attorney. Yeah, yeah. the woman like <laughs> Of girls. <laughs> but you know, them one day me look to for strength and you know mm -hmm. how resilient they are, how fearless they are, and when you want to go after your dreams. So for me, she has set the template to know that it's not where you're coming from or where you go. Let's speak female dance art. Yes. The Queen War. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody, Winford, has their audience and everybody has their fans. Just do your good music, concentrate on your business. You don't have to be friends. At the end of the day, everybody has their own market and their slice of the pie because it has come to nothing at all. For me, it's just a lot of dirty laundry um, being aired, a lot of kaskia sese, and I want to appeal to the ladies as well. The man them a war and I do them thing. Mm -hmm. Them them to a war, you know, like that, you know. They're over there. We need to be over here and do what we're doing. You're not going to like everybody. And when you talk about woman empowerment, I'm not empowering nobody for come bite me neither. Mm -hmm. So not a problem. You're not going to like everyone and that's fine. But at the same time, concentrate on your money. Concentrate on your future. Concentrate on the business. What 2021 has shown, 2020, the pandemic has shown us is that life can change in the blink of an eye. Yes. So a lot of the things that we glorify and a lot of things that we are run down with for, at the end of the day, you know, she so said COVID-19 shows so we're not nobody. Mm -hmm. One little microbe, one little virus so we can't sit with the naked eye. Turn we not idiot. So be easy and be grateful because at the end of the day, everybody will have their time. And that is why it is important when you are coming up the ladder, be respectful of others and be respectful of those who were there before you because guess what? One day you're going to be in the chair and you're going to want the same respect. So what you want for yourself, give it to others. But really, until the war in us now gone away. And to me, like Joe Biden, I call me, I never something, I can't bother with the war. I can't bother with what I love where I deal with. Respect. As I said, 
you're not going to like everyone because you're not Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and everyone will not like you and that is okay. I'm not here. I'm not everybody cup of tea as Queenie say, me and a mug, okay? So if you're not going to like me, it's fine. Jesus walked the earth as sinless man. Him heal the sick, raise the dead, turn water into wine and them still crucify him. Winford, if, you will never be right for the wrong person. And at the same time, at the level of being a queen, it comes with more than just a hit song. It comes with a certain mindset. Mm -hmm. It comes with a certain posture. So for example, even law, when I'm in the court and in the, um, you know, the realm of the court, you have to operate a certain way. It's a very noble profession, a very humble profession, a very sober profession. Mm -hmm. So there is no la 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 in court, none of that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. And so you have to conduct yourself a certain way and you have to also win for honor every um, drum knock, you go go there. Sometimes people are gonna call your name, mm -hmm. just allow them. Cause guess what? I can't argue with someone who has nothing to lose. That makes sense. So she must be queenly. You know, exactly. In character. If we're not on the same level, it doesn't make no sense. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose. People don't expect any better from you. So really and truly, I can't beat you at your own game. Well, my dear, you've said a lot. I hope they're all listening. <laughs> Many things. So too. much food for thought. Yeah. Absolutely. Because there's so much more when these women can do, these men and women in dance hall can do. Yeah. For themselves, first and foremost, yeah. and for all of us. And I wanted to put this in yes. to say, don't allow complacency to get the better of you. So, for example, even though I'm an attorney at law at the moment, yes. media practitioner at the moment, I'm also starting my health and wellness business. Because as you know, you know, your health is your wealth. So wow. I have my TLC products in for, so when you want your detox, when you need your Nutriburst, when you need your NRG, just to- What's NRG? NRG is a tablet where, in one capsule, you burn 300 calories. Like, oh, you slim, I want to keep that slim, stay. <laughs> you saw your pants straight like a rope, like you. Yes, some man can do that something. No, you need it then. No, you need it, Winford, you need it. You still need your vitamins, okay? So you need your, you need your Nutriburst, you need to get your detox. Because Winford, the truth is, and I want our men to hear this, a lot of men, are concerned with buying, you know, bundles and slippers and all of that. You have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Them same girl who not run down and do the things them, and you're not taking care of your health. It is important. A one life you have to live. And what we have, I have known now is that no long time, money can't buy health. There are many millionaires and billionaires with dead boy. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the most expensive bed is a hospital bed. So you have to take your health in charge. We're not saying you can't eat a little this and a little of that, but try and be balanced. And so you have some people who say, Lord, Miss Kitty, but you did say fluffy. Yes. Yes. Say fluffy, but I say healthy too. And I'm saying I'm mature, you learn and you grow. Winford, so you have some people who want to keep you down or keep you in a certain bracket yes. for their own selfish reasons. Don't allow nobody. You have some people, Lord, I some stay a summer band. Whatever so you mm -hmm. stay, I stay bad. Change it. Don't celebrate certain behavior and attitudes that are not elevating you. If I have to drop some weight, if I have to lose some weight to preserve my health, I have to do what I have to do. Because guess what? The same nigga them will say, watch out, she said fluffy, I know she lose weight. If me dead and gone, I never lose no weight. So Lord, she could have got gym. So Lord, she couldn't do this. Listen, yeah, yeah, get what me I say? True. So at the end of the day, to thine own self be true and do what you need to do to be the best version of yourself and to prolong your life. I know a lot of people who die would I wish them could have day to see them children one more time to hear their mother's voice or their father's voice so you have to do what you have to do so we have to do that too so when does it come it's there already it's, it's there already yes. yes so all you have to do is go to my Instagram page hit the link tree link in my bio mm -hmm. and DM me for any information I will clarify and you know I will elucidate on any product that you want to know about and get the information we're in for that time for make money and a time for sleep you know me can't broke and sleep you know but them something aren't me I, oh covid deal with entertainment industry a lot of people don't know or even talk about it because the entertainment industry is filled with a lot of glitz and glam and ego so a lot of people don't want to admit certain things but let us face it winford no shows are being held no parties no nothing if you have your bank book and you're all it's being depleted and you're paying out and nothing is going in the money i got finish yes. so what else are you gonna do how else are you setting up yourself to ensure that you have some financial security so we have to think about residual income and think about income from different streams and different angles and put the pride aside if you can bake bake and sell if you can do ear do ear if you can do something with your hand make like a gizada make like a shamshoko make like a greater cake do something before something do you <laughs>
Wow. Hey. She always, always <laughs> so much more than <laughs> Miss Kitty. I tried. Thank you, guys. I love you. Oh, oh, thank you so much, Wayne, much respect. It's my pleasure to have you. Thank, thank you, you, my so darling. Much. Thank you so much for you having me. You've given us so much. I'm sure my viewers around the world are appreciating yes. everything you've said, and I'm sure you will be empowering a lot of people. I thank you so much. I try to inspire by doing, not just word of mouth. I'm not, when I talk about my story or I talk about who I am, I'm talking about what I've done for real in real life. And a book me read and I regurgitate and just I say some nice things and I say some pretty talking. It's what I've been through. I've walked it. I've done it. So I know it. So they can always find me on Instagram. Instagram at Fluffy Miss Kitty, F L U F F Y M I S S K I T T Y. I saw it spelled, yeah. And you know, we can always link up, but I'm grateful, Winford, to you. And let me just congratulate you on the great job that you've been doing over the years. I've seen you grow, uh, I've seen you, you know, elevate, and it's really great to see you. And you know, anytime we link up in other streets, are foreign, you know, it's always great, it's always a nice vibe. But I'm very grateful to you for having me here tonight. And uh, I wish you all the best, and I hope that you will continue to strive and thrive in as many ways as possible. Well, I hope so. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Thank you so it much. is whitey. <laughs> Thank you. You want to see a win for the table, good. I'm not a A win for the body and a pound of chilling and pence. Blush, I'm blush, blush. <laughs> All right. So there you have her in this segment. Wow. What else can I say? La, 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 la. Except to say. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Do join us again next week for more on stage.